Welcome back. So this video was originally gonna be just a review on the Nutsack sling bag here, but I thought it'd be way more interesting to actually show you guys what I carry in this and how I've been building it out. I don't do a lot of bag content on this channel, but I love bags. I have bags everywhere. So when I saw Nutsack made a sling bag, I had to buy one. So let's jump into this. So the Nutsack sling bag here, it's available in two different versions. There's a waxed canvas version, but I already have a few bags that are made of waxed canvas. I decided to go with the black tactical 1000D Cordura version right here. This is my very first bag made of 1000D Cordura and apparently the same for Nutsack. And to be honest, I absolutely love this bag so far. On the very front, there's a full width zipper pocket where I keep all of my everyday items that I want quick access to, such as my phone here. And it is a very deep pocket. You can see my finger goes down to right about there. And these zippers are very high quality. They are YKK zippers and they all have leather tabs here. And then before I get to the main pocket, let's check out the back. The back here is all padded. Then you can see two attachment points right here on the bottom that are metal D-rings. And this shoulder strap here, is detachable. So you can hook the shoulder strap onto this side or this side here. On the very top, you can see another hook. And this isn't a D-ring hook. This is a detachable hook. It's almost like an S hook, but not really. And see what that hook looks like there. But I really like this because you can detach this padded shoulder strap and then you're just left with an EDC bag here with a handle right on the top. And it is a vertical style bag, which is a little bit different for Nutsack because usually they have horizontal bags. That's why I was very interested and intrigued with this brand new bag here. And if you guys know anything about 1000D Cordura, you're gonna know that this is darn near bulletproof. Not literally. Bulletproof, meaning this material will probably outlive you. It is so durable. So whichever version you choose, I don't think you can lose either way. Now the main compartment here has a four-way zipper system. Now that really comes into play if you're wearing this over your shoulder and just need quick access to the side here. You don't have to unzip the whole thing just to get access here. Now I like this system so much, every single sling bag that I buy in the future has to have this system. And if you get inside here, we open up the main compartment. There is an internal Molly system here for all of your gear. Now that internal Molly system takes up this whole back panel of the sling bag here from the top all the way to the bottom. And this isn't an elastic Molly system. This is a nylon Molly system. And you can see this is very spacious. Then on this side, there is just a single non-zippered pocket that basically goes all the way down to the bottom. My finger is right there. So there is a ton of room in this pocket. So regarding the bag here, I absolutely love it. My only issue is its price tag at 189 bucks is pretty steep. But like I said, with the materials Nutsack uses here, plus they have a light lifetime warranty on it, um, I can sort of justify that price. Now let me show you what I've been keeping in this bag. Of course I have my iPhone 13 Pro here that I've been keeping right here in the outside pocket just because I want quick access to it when I'm wearing this over my shoulder. And then on the inside here you can sort of see how I have my bag set up. Right here I have my knife. Now that of course is the Civivi Elementum. My strategy was I wanted to carry the least expensive knife yet the highest quality knife that I can think of that I can keep in this bag for emergencies. It's a rear flipper, D2 drop point blade, G10 scales, stainless steel liners. There's a deep carry pocket clip and right around 50 bucks, I thought it was perfect to carry in this bag. Now the next item I have in this bag is a flashlight and that's the Phoenix E12 version two. Now I picked the Phoenix E12 version two specifically because I wanted to carry a flashlight that took AA batteries just so I can easily switch out the batteries whenever I needed it. And eventually I will get a couple AA batteries stored in this bag. This is still a work in progress. So the Phoenix E12 version two, very simple UI, three modes, 160 lumens, a maximum throw of 68 meters, it's operated with a tail switch. There's a two-way pocket clip. The body's made of 6061 aluminum. I wanted something that was completely dust and waterproof, and this is at IP68. And it's extremely lightweight. It weighs just under one ounce, and it's only 30 bucks. So I didn't need a super powerful thrower to carry around in this bag. Just something very small, lightweight, and functional. The E12 fits the bill. And now the next item right here is a pry bar, and that's the tactical and portable tiebreaker. Now I don't always carry a pry bar with me in my pocket, so this bag was absolutely perfect to just throw a pry bar in there and forget it, just in case I needed it. 
So the tiebreaker here is only four inches long, only weighs 1.23 ounces. There's a quarter inch hex bit holder. It's made of grade five titanium, extremely high quality. And it fits so perfectly in this bag because of the pocket clip. And as I said, I don't always like to carry a pry bar in my pockets, but sometimes I need to pry something, scrape something, or score something. And that's where the pry bars come in handy. And now the next item I've been carrying in this bag is a Leatherman. That's the Leatherman style CS. So I believe the CS is no longer made. I believe it's the PS now. But I don't care, this little guy is awesome. Mainly I carry this little style CS because of how awesome these scissors are. It also has a tiny little slip joint blade right here, which is razor sharp, by the way. There's a little clip right here with an attachment point for a lanyard, but one of my favorite features of the style CS Tweezers. And I'll tell you, these tweezers came in clutch a few times when I've had to dig out a splinter in my thumb. And check this out, this little guy fits perfectly in between these two molly panels right there. I love it. Now the next item in my bag right here is just a common USB type A to type C cable, just in case. But you're gonna see I have it attached to the Molly system right here with this little Travax cord wrangler. Now these leather Travax cord wranglers are absolutely perfect if you have this bag and wanna carry cables. You can get three of them for 10 bucks. They're made of top grain oil tan leather. Everything is held securely with a snap. If you guys are familiar with Travax, you're gonna know that everything is made right here in the USA. There's a 65 year heirloom warranty very high quality stuff. And like I said, look how perfect it fits inside of this bag. I love it. Now the next item that I have right here is just some common chapstick. My lips get dry as heck. I live near Buffalo, New York, so this is an absolute must. And now we're getting into the very bottom of the bag here is where I like to keep the heaviest items. So right here is the Nipex 5-inch Cobra pliers. And guys, I don't know if it's pronounced Knipex or Nipex. I'm going with Nipex just because I feel silly saying Knipex. But regardless how you pronounce it, these Cobra five inch pliers fit perfectly in this bag. And I feel like they'd be perfect in anybody's bag just for emergency purposes only. And if you guys haven't noticed, this bag is a mix between things that I carry every day and items that I carry for emergencies or a just in case scenario. But that's just how I build out my bag. You guys might build your bag out a little bit differently. But for me, I like the mix of things that I carry all the time and just in case. Now the Cobra five inch pliers has a single push button for adjustment. They're self-locking and no slip pliers and they are very, very functional. And the shape of the beak here and these teeth are perfect to grip almost anything. It feels very, very comfortable to hold it with these rubberized handles. I now own a bunch of tools from Nipex, but I feel like this five inch Cobra pliers are perfect for this bag. And right next to those pliers is a pen. And that pen is the Dango Mini Pen, a perfect everyday carry pen, in my opinion. It's CNC'd out of 6061 anodized aluminum. There's a slotted end for attachments and a threaded end to put your cap that makes it almost the size of a full-size pen. It comes with a stainless steel pocket clip that fits perfectly in this bag. It takes Schmidt 4889M black ink refills. So you can basically find those refills anywhere. And because it has a threaded cap that screws on very tightly, I feel pretty confident that it won't leak all over this bag if the cartridge explodes. Now I have a few of these Dangle mini pens that come in right around 39 bucks. They're available in two different colors, silver and black. So I thought the black one was absolutely perfect to carry in this black 1000D Cordura bag. Now of course you have to have a multi-tool in this bag. So I went with the Leatherman Curl. The Leatherman Curl and the Leatherman Bond are two of my favorite newer Leathermans that have been released recently, but I decided to go with the Curl for this bag. Yes, I already know I have pliers covered with the Cobra five inch pliers, but the Curl, like most Leathermans, have the needle nose pliers, which come in handy more often than not. It has a file on this side, a locking blade on that side, but the real reason I chose the Curl is no, not because of the can opener right here, but because of this bit driver. It is not a locking bit driver, but it might as well be because this detent is extremely strong, which to me is super important, but you also have the ability to close it and still use it like an actual screwdriver. Now I do have a bunch of the bits that fit in this bit driver. They just haven't made their way to this bag yet. Like I said, 
This is still a work in progress. And with this almost deep carry pocket clip right here, it fits perfectly in the Molly system. It's a little bit weighty, so I like to have this on the bottom of the bag. So if you guys haven't picked up a Krill yet, it's right around 90 bucks, absolutely do yourself a favor and pick this bad boy up. And right next to the Leatherman Curl on the bottom of the bag, I have my iPhone charging cable. And you can see I have it attached with another Travax cord wrangler. Those things come in handy. We're getting down to the end here, and this next item is one of the most important things that I carry in this bag. That's right, it's an Apple AirTag, and I don't have to really explain AirTags to you guys, I don't think. AirTags are everywhere these days. And they're sort of getting a bad reputation because people are using them in illegal ways. But that's not the AirTag's fault. That's just a testament of how well they actually work. Now, I only own two AirTags, one on my keychain and one in this bag. Because if I lose this bag, I want to be able to find it as quickly as possible. Plus, AirTags are only 28 bucks a piece. So with the amount this bag costs and the amount that everything costs on the inside of the bag, I think that 28 bucks is definitely an investment. But this AirTag I have inside of a Dango AirTag capsule. Now these AirTag capsules from Dango are awesome. They're made of anodized 6061 aluminum. You can get them in either silver or black. And of course, once again, I went with the black version. And they only weigh about a half an ounce. And you can see they fit absolutely perfect in these capsules. But I think it looks awesome. So that's why I chose it to hold my AirTag in this bag. Only two items left here. So in this unzippered bag on the inside here, of course I have some field notes. I don't think field notes needs any explanation. 48 page memo book right here made in the USA. One of my favorite notebooks to jot down anything I need. So of course I have one in this bag and the last item in this bag is the WorkSharp EDC Micro Sharpener and knife tool. Now I like to keep a sharpener and knife tool on me at all times, just in case I have to do some quick touch-ups on my knife. And that's why I like the EDC micro sharpener and knife tool from WorkSharp because it combines both into one. It has both a diamond end and ceramic end for quick sharpening. And you can see it even has angled guides right there. That's awesome. And check this out. This little piece pushes out and you have yourself a T6, T8, and T10 quarter inch hex bit. And these bits fit perfectly right here in the little bit driver. I love this little tool. And when you're done tightening up your blade, fits perfectly right back in there, closes up, and then goes right back into the bag. And honestly, those are the only two items I have in this giant pocket. There is so much more room inside of this bag here. Work in progress. All right, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. What do you think of my everyday carry loadout? For my sling bag. Now since this bag is a work in progress, I'll probably do a few updates in the future just to show you what tweaks I've made to what I carry inside of this bag here. And if you're interested in anything that I carry in this bag or the bag itself, I will put links down below in my description box. But if you did enjoy this video, please give me that thumbs up. Please subscribe and go!